Hello everybody. Welcome to Max Cook House. Where I share easy to cook recipes. Today I'll be sharing the recipe of the popular Arabic street food, chicken murtabak. Delicious parcels filled with minced chicken and eggs. To begin, mix well 2 cups all purpose flour, 1/2 teaspoon salt, and 2 tablespoons of oil. Knead it into a soft dough using water. Keep aside for at least an hour. To prepare the stuffing, heat 2 tablespoons of oil in a pan. Add 2 tablespoons finely chopped garlic and 1 medium onion finely chopped. Saute until translucent. Next, add in 200 g chicken mince and saute until the water dries up. Add in the dry masalas, half a teaspoon salt, half a teaspoon Kashmiri red chili powder, one teaspoon cumin powder jeera, one teaspoon coriander powder dhania, and half a teaspoon black pepper powder. Mix well. Add half a cup of water. Cover with a lid and let it simmer until the chicken is cooked. Once done, dry the chicken completely. Remove from heat and allow it to cool. In the meantime, prepare the egg mixture. Whisk two eggs in a large bowl. Add in half a teaspoon salt. and quarter teaspoon black pepper powder whisk well next add in 5 tablespoons of chopped green coriander leaves one medium tomato finely chopped and one to two chopped green chilies mix well once the chicken mixture has cooled down completely add it to the eggs do not add when it is hot or the eggs will cook divide the dough into six equal portions roll out the dough as thin as possible place a cheese slice in the middle add a tablespoon or two of the stuffing on the slice make sure the stuffing only rests on the cheese slice wrap over the sides on the stuffing so as to make a parcel like you make a square parotta you can use a bit of water to seal the folded edges similarly Prepare the other parcels. Heat a tawa or a griddle. Brush it with a bit of oil. Place the murtabak folded side down on the tawa. Keeping the flame on low to medium heat. Cook the murtabak until golden and crisp. Be sure to cook the sides as well. The chicken murtabak is ready to serve. Garnish with chopped coriander leaves and serve hot. For more such recipes, follow me at Max Cook House and be sure to like, share and subscribe.